And with so many young athletes dying by suicide recently, we wanted to look into what schools are now doing to help their own students. So new tonight, I went to a Bradenton school that specializes in training young athletes and found their program has involved mind, body, and spirit for decades. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to to struggle a little bit. Taryn Morgan is the vice president of athletic and personal development at the IMG Academy in Bradenton. She says mental health has been as important as physical health at their school from the very beginning. Every week here they have a mental session as part of their program. So it's very proactive training. They also have uh, mental coaches that are doing live coaching out at their sports, in the dugout, on the sidelines. They can come meet with the mental coaches one-to-one -one, um, if they would like. And then we also just make it a part of what we do. So it's not something that's a stigma. It's not something that's different. It's, it's training. And that mental training can be the separating factor in any sport. You can have two people of equal physical talent and ability, but who's gonna win? And it's gonna be usually that mentally tougher athlete. And we see a lot of examples across, across many sports and, and across the world. And since perfectionism often makes athletes successful on the field, it can carry over into other aspects of their life. So coaches are always on the lookout for red flags. If we're always trying to be perfect and failure is not an option, that sets us up for failure. And it sets us up for disappointment. And that's where we see it, where people have that expectation that's un unachievable is when then the problems come. And that's where Morgan and her team remind the athlete it's okay to be human. It's okay to make a mistake. It's okay to not be perfect. Here's the things you're striving towards. Here's the process to get there and, and not so much just about that outcome. Showing weakness or admitting to need help can actually make you stronger. Well, unfortunately, there's an old school mentality sometimes or a you have to never show any weakness. Um, but I don't actually think it's weakness to make mistakes. And I don't think it's weakness to need help. Um, it actually means you're open-minded. It actually means you're willing to learn and grow. And Morgan says parents need to be careful of what they say to their athlete because it can make a permanent impact on their psyche. They play sports because it's fun, it's social, they love it. And when, when we take that away and we scream and yell and put the pressure, they're scared. They get scared to make mistakes. They lose confidence. The amount of kids that have told me that is shocking. So what should you say when your child is done with their game or match? There's actually a lot of research out there that says the best thing to say as a parent is when your kid finishes and they get in the car, I love to watch you play. Just enjoy, enjoy watching them play, enjoy the fact that you get to see them do something they love and that is fun for them. And she reminds parents not to put their own ego into the game or on the field. Kids will find their drive. Kids will develop in their own time and a lot of them develop later. And so being okay with that and not having to make them be perfect is, is probably the best gift you can give your kid. All mental coaches at IMG have a background in sports psychology, and the school also has a partnership with Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital, where they provide a clinical sports psychologist on campus there.